Hey guys, well, as you all know, um, the New England Patriots were caught um, and apparently made it to um, cheating videotaping signals from uh, the Jets and stuff. And I, I want to say something to, uh, to Brian, uh, the Boston team's rule uh, guy here we have here. And I want to say, you know, I kind of... I kind of felt you feel when you know you made you you kind of made an apology. I remember you said you know I, I'm sorry to everybody, but I don't know why I'm apologizing because it's my team. You know I didn't do anything with my team, but hey, I know exactly how you feel because um, you know being a Cowboys fan uh, back in the day, like after winning the Super Bowls, and then we kind of started losing, and uh, I get all our, all our players, Michael Irvin, everybody else, were on drugs and stuff. It just it felt I wasn't embarrassed to be a Cowboys fan. But it brought embarrassment upon the team, though. You know what I'm saying? And I felt bad as well. So I know what you're coming from there. Uh, what they should do, this is my take, really. Um, it, it, it's a hard deal since, you know, they've been so successful in, so many, in all these years. Um, you know, I, the draft pick situation, it's almost like a slap in the wrist to me, to the, to the Patriots, because, you know, if you do this to a – a midway team, a middle middle of a, a group team, that's gonna be a huge deal to take your draft pick away. But the upper echelon teams like the Patriots, who right now on the ESPN power rankings are number one, they really don't need a lot of other guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this is what I think, and I, I mean I, I don't even have a I haven't even thought this out all the way, but um, you know if it's found out that, that was just the one game, then do the draft pick things. But more than likely, it's probably gone through the past. And really, I'm not advocating anything. I don't have any say. I don't really have a huge opinion on this. Um, but I was watching on the NFL Network on the Internet, and Terrell Davis was saying they should do the th same thing that the uh, that college does, where they put a team on probation, where they can't go to the playoffs, when they can't go to the postseason or anything. And that would really solve the problem, which it would. Um, I don't know if I advocate that. I don't know if that's... I mean, if they delve deeper and see that it was, it's been so, very, very uh, evident, maybe so. Uh, I'm not sure. That's just putting that opinion out there from, you know, one sports analyst out there, someone who's played the game, letting y'all know. Now, um, other things. Also, I want all the Cowboy fans to know, I, I meant to give them a shout out in my last video, but I didn't. A guy named Logically Speaking 88. Some of you guys know him, some of you don't. I just want to get his name out there so y'all can welcome him. He's been making videos here uh, for the Cowboys. Uh, he's in South Florida, and I think he's going to go to the uh, Dolphins game. I saw one of his videos. And uh, so him and Cowboy Jones, will we'll see if they can meet up down there at the game. You guys have fun. Hope you have a good time watching the slaughter, which I hope it is and needs to be. Make us look a little bit better. Um, also, I saw, I found, just ran, I typed in Philadelphia Eagles just looking up stuff. If you guys haven't seen this guy, this guy is hilarious. And I really want to see what the Eagles fans uh, have to say about this guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put his name over here. And I may link my video to his. It's called, his name is Philly Purge. And he is, he calls himself the hater. And pretty much he is a uh, Philadelphia fan who is fed up with his city's teams not producing a championship. And you just got to watch it. It's hilarious. And I, if you guys watch it, you know, give us some feedback. See what you think of this guy. So that's all I got for today. Uh, go Cowboys and uh, Withy. That's right. Basketball season starts head to head, but uh, not. I mean, it's hard. If we're talking about the Mavericks now, just to get this off my chest, it is really hard to cheer for the Mavericks, especially this upcoming year. Cause, I mean, we could kick butt in the regular season. And it's just like, and, and what? So, but you know what? I'm gonna stay positive. Dirk Nowitzki, my boy, or he's better than my boy, and start playing some daggum basketball. Uh, get better. So, uh, just a little basketball thrown in there. Uh, but of course, football season, Cowboys, talking Patriots, and check that guy out. It's hilarious. And guys, let me know what you think. So, go Cowboys.